And the Mount Kenya region, as Stephen Leto there reports, will be the topic of our conversation on the bench in a little short while. In the meantime, the NCIC is tonight sounding the alarm of increasing cases of political intolerance around the country. NCIC Chairperson Reverend Samuel Cobia says the commission will be taking stern action against politicians who instigate incidents of political intolerance. Let's get more from our very own Alpha Slagad. These were the scenes in Gidurai today as groups supporting Raila Odinga and those in support of Deputy President William Ruto clashed. <laughs> Police were forced to fire tear gas canisters to disperse the rival mobs. <laughs> Just a week ago in Bama Market, a group of people chanted slogans directed at Odinga's entourage in what is now emerging as a creeping pattern of political intolerance. <laughs> In October last year, two people died as two jubilee groups clashed over William Ruto's tour to Kenol Muranga. Destruction of property and cat and mouse chase between police officers and rioters. <laughs> the events in Gidurai early Wednesday have drawn concern from the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, NCIC. <laughs> Wood Commission Chairman Reverend Samuel Kobia telling Citizen TV that, quote, NCIC will take stand measures Against notorious politicians, leaders should be organized, peaceful, and desist from inciting people. He added that those eager to initiate violence will not get away with impunity. Just two weeks ago, NAC Kenya party leader Martha Karua had similarly raised concern over the apparent intolerance attending to political discourse in the country. Ukisikia mtu hataki kusikia upizani wa chochote, hiyo si nzuri. Ata soka haiwezi cheswa kama team sio mbili. Kwa hivyo kwa kila proposal, let us have patience of entertaining dissent. Observers contend that months ahead of 2022 election would be full of challenges if the trend of political intolerance is not put to a halt. Elfas Lagarde, Citizen TV, Nairobi.